you have a little visual aid here. Yes. Um, what is, what does this show us? So this is this this first picture is showing um, intermediate dry macular generation. And you can see these yellow changes, these yellow dots. Those are the drusen like changes that we see in macular generation. This sec second picture is showing very early changes from the wet form, which you can actually see right in the center of the retina. There's a little bit of a blood spot there. And again, this is the mm -hmm. nerve of the eye, the blood vessels here. This is the center of the vision here, most important for seeing. You can see a small little blood spot here. This is this is very early changes and you can see here on the on the far right this is where it becomes very advanced where you get uh, a lot more bleeding and, and and you can obviously see there's gonna be a lot more damage from that so the the, the goal of, of these slides is to show the progression and how if we can catch it earlier we can we can minimize any damage from wet macro generation so uh, Peggy works here in our operating room here and we're gonna she's gonna be uh, kind of subbing as our patient today and basically, this, she's going to be utilizing this device. It's called the 4C Home AMD device uh, that was just recently approved by Medicare for detection of changes from the dry type of macular generation to the wet type. Yeah. All righty, so Pigs, what I have you do is you have your glasses on that you usually wear, and we have pretty good lighting in the room. So I'm going to have you kind of put your face right into this kind of soft uh, styrofoam thing, and basically your right eye will be kind of covered by the... the 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 block and then the the left eye is the one that's only the one that's exposed now there's a mouse on on your right side here that you're going to utilize and this is kind of the demo um, what do you see peggy so uh, i see what looks like the machine and this kind of it's running through a little video actually um we can we can probably if we want we can it's kind of showing you how to how to do it initially and actually, the company is really good about um, talking with each patient. They send the machine extra the patient um, and actually show them how to use it and explain how to use it. So uh, it's, uh, it's pretty, it's very streamlined. And, and you know, any patient, you know, basically, it doesn't matter how old the patient is or if they have any, um, you know, medical issues like Parkinson's, for example, uh, we're still sometimes able to get a, a good baseline test and still monitor them with this machine. So. It's a pretty universal machine for most patients. So it's kind of explaining um, the instructions on how it, how it works and, and how the, the demo is. So basically, it's kind of showing Peggy how to mark it. Yep, she's doing very good. Is she? Yep. So basically what happens is there's a center dot in the center. It's kind of what we call focus dot. And... What she does is she actually picks where that she sees the wave. So she actually hovers her cursor onto the onto the wave, and clicks with the with the mouse to where she thinks the wave is on that line, and then goes back to the center point again, and she does it again. She's doing a great job. Wow. And actually, so this is very similar to the the grid paper that we have, you know, as as our current. Um, uh, method of detecting it but you can as you can see it's so much better with the automated version and it's very very sensitive at detecting any changes as you can imagine we're we're using our technology and you can think of it I think of it as you know it's going from the the bicycle to the automobile you know that big jump from using a grid line piece of paper to this our, our kind of very advanced machinery and technology that helps alert she did